welcome back to Bocce's Corner. We're in Bocce's kitchen, my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Barb. Um, I am in the process of cleaning out my freezer. It's pretty packed um, between the garden harvest and preserving what I got. And uh, it's just getting too full. So I went through and in addition to other things I've pulled out that... Like I'm cooking up the turkey patties, and I'm or cooked up the turkey patties, the um, burger patties. I also have these stuffed bell peppers um, that are still hanging out in the freezer. And I already did a video on how I make my stuffed bell peppers, um, like on a sheet pan or in a roasting pan, the traditional way. Well, now I'm taking the remainder of them. I'm going to let them thaw out. I'm going to chop them up. And this is a rebel canning job. So, it, you know, I'm not telling you to do this. This is what I'm going to do. Because my stuffed bell peppers do have rice in them. And there's no testing done on rice. I have seen rice canning videos. Um, but I'm going to turn this into a stuffed bell pepper soup and can it up to put on my shelf so I can still have stuffed bell peppers so these don't go to waste and I'm opening up space in my freezer so I thought I'd bring you along so these just need to thaw out I don't have a recipe in mind um I'm gonna fudge through it and try and keep track of how I do this and it may be a combination of other recipes that I find um, and just put my own spin on it. So let's get to it. Here's where I'm at for the stuffed pepper soup. Um, I'm gonna loosely follow this recipe. It, my stuffed peppers primarily have all this already in them because they're already cooked. I got some odds and ends. There's celery here that's frozen. Here's some onion that's frozen. More bell peppers. I still have a lot of bell peppers in the freezer, just plain sliced or diced bell peppers. So I pulled some out of those out of there. So I'm going to use what I can. I may even go back down and get more items depending on how it's going to look as I'm going along with it or as I'm cooking it, I should say. I was gifted a lot of, lot of um, canned products that um, a girlfriend of mine was moving. So I was gifted a lot of canned products. So I do have beef broth here. The best by date is already passed, but I think it's still good because it's not an expiration. It's just best by. I got crushed tomato, tomato sauce. I'm, I'm going to use up tomato soup because we don't really eat tomato soup and this would be the perfect opportunity to use up cans of tomato soup, tomato sauce, more tomato soup. I'm going to throw in some Rotel or just diced tomatoes with chilies. Use these up. Um, yeah, so some of these cans are dented and they were bought on discount, but they seem to look okay. When I open them, I'll inspect them, make sure everything is good inside of them. So let's, uh, let's get going. Um,
I just took this out. It turns out to be ham. So this is going back in the freezer for another dish. Oops, maybe I should mark it, huh? <laughs> there we go, now we can keep going. Let me stir this up. I'm pretty much just dumping everything in here and then I'm gonna add my broths, my sauces and everything. I do have more peppers. I think I'm gonna add, I'm not sure how many of these peppers I'm gonna add, but I'm still gonna add some more peppers to it. garlic and herb seasoning it called the recipe for a, a regular stuffed bell pepper soup um, calls for individual like oregano basil individual measurements so I am going it called oh, four teaspoons of Italian seasoning so it doesn't call for individual so I'm going to use this blend and I'm going to shake it up I want to make sure it's shaken so that everything's mixed up very well. So I think I'm going to use one, two tablespoons to start with. And we'll see where that brings us. I also want to add a tablespoon of salt. Oh, uh, maybe not. A, yeah. Because of all the tomato products and stuff, I'm going to use a tablespoon. I'll probably end up adding more after. Um, but I'm just going to let this all simmer together. I'm not going to add any more cans of anything. I am so tempted to add like beans to it or something. But I, I think I'm just going to keep it as a stuffed bell pepper soup. My take on a stuffed bell pepper soup. And it's pretty much emptying out my freezer and using up canned goods. Um, I didn't want to use my home canned tomato products for this. I want to use up these cans that I was gifted. So, and because my tomato products were canned like last year, they're still good for quite a while. All right, let me get 
my little spoon holder because I'm getting everything all dirty here. I want to give it a little bit of a taste. Ooh, that's very nice. That is a nice flavor. I will add a couple more tablespoons of the garlic and herb. So a total of four. If you have broth, you can make any kind of soup. Just take your ingredients, throw them together, add broth and you have soup. Season to your liking. You really don't have to follow any recipes, but I will link just a base recipe in my description box that you can follow to make exact as it says or use that as your guide. So I'm just gonna let this keep heating through a little bit. I'm not gonna cook it. I'm letting this all heat through while I clean up this mess and then we'll get to canning this. That's got a nice kick from the um, Rotel. It's just right. It's not overpowering. It is just right. So I'm glad I added those in there. So we'll be back. Or I'll be back. Or I'll bring you back. <laughs> I think I'm all set now. I did not cook this because the meat, everything was already cooked. And it's gonna cook in the pressure canner in the jar. So I, all I wanna do is just warm this through, which I did. Um, it is a little bit on the hotter side than I wanted it to be, but we're okay. So let's start filling these jars up. wipe the rims, put the lids on, put the rings on, finger to tight, and put them in my canner. So I'm going to use a paper towel and I have a little bit of white vinegar in here. And I'm going to wipe the rims down with white vinegar um, to get anything, any grease, if there might be grease on there or stickiness. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe, look at that, that's so dirty. I'm just gonna wipe all these down.
gonna let this vent. I have my vent open. So once this comes up to a boil, this will vent for 10 minutes. And then I will close it and let it come up to pressure. And then I'll set my timer. Once it reaches 10, I'll set my timer um, for 90 minutes. So thank you once again for joining me in Bocce's Corner. And uh, hope to see you soon. Until next time.